Hello, I'm Dr. Rob Mayer. I'm the Chief Clinical Director at ErgoFlex Technologies. And today I wanna to go over how to properly set somebody up with our server track unit. So we've been getting some complaints from doctors out in the market that it's very uncomfortable for the patient. And I think if we can teach you how to properly set this thing up in the proper position of the pillow, you're gonna find that most of those complaints will go away. But I wanna explain a couple things so that you understand. So the difference between our traction unit and a Saunders or a lot of the other traction units out there is, is we basically have a dental roll that's built into this thing that's gonna support the curve. So this is not designed to hook the occiput, it's designed to put the head back over to support the curve and then we're gonna use the curve to do the traction. So that's one of the big differences. I think a lot of these people out there, doctors are using this to hook the occiput and I can tell you from experience, that's not a fun experience. It actually came off with a bad headache the first time we tried that. So we're gonna actually lay the head back and I'm gonna show you that real quick. So Seth, if I can get you to come over here. So what I want you to know is make sure we have this loose as we get the patient on so we can adjust the height. So make sure your bolts are loose when we, when we, we have this uh, set up at first, okay? So have Seth just come lay back. And here's the big issue right here. So if you have this set up correctly, just lay your head back. The, the head's gonna really lay back and just kind of sit perfectly back over the top of that thing. If we have this too high, lift your head up a little bit. It, it actually ha holds the head up off of the back right here, okay? And you can tell, Seth, is that very comfortable? And, and we don't even have a pull on it, it's just uncomfortable. That's hooked under the ox foot. But if we drop this down, you see how the head settles back and actually sits right on the back right here. The other thing is make sure you don't have too much on your pillow stack here. I start pretty much everybody out with just a single pillow. Um, I'm a pretty big guy, I'm six foot four, and I use a single pillow when I'm using it as well. So you may be able to build that up as we get to a better curve. But and the other thing you have to understand that most of these people we're using this on, they're supposed to have a curve like this, and they either have a straight curve or a reversal of the curve. So when you go to put that over the top of the pillow, it's not gonna be real, real comfortable the first time or two. But I always instruct my patients, look, in, in, in about two to three minutes of being on this thing, those intrinsic muscles will relax and just let the head settle down, and they'll tell you that's exactly what happens in most of the cases. So if it's uncomfortable from the very get-go, make sure you drop this, this pillow down to the mid to lower part of the cervical. So if you think of the apex of the cervical curve, it's not up at C4, it's actually down around C5, it's a little lower in the, in the cervical curve. So that's what we want this sitting around, around C5. So if it's put on correctly, and then what we'll do is we'll just put the strap over his head, and then I grab down low on both sides and pull at the same time. And what I tell people is the way this is tensioned correctly is it's like you had a Botox injection. You'll get a little stretch of the forehead. You'll see the, the, and that's all you need. You don't need to pull this thing super tight. It just needs to be snug so it doesn't slip. And then we fasten that. And then we'll start them in, in the actual process. So the, the, the programs that I like to run are A, B, or C, and let me explain those real quick. A is a static track, and it's just a straight static pull and hold. B is a gradient traction. It's gonna take three steps to get to your full pull. So if you have like a three inch pull to go one inch, back off a half inch, two inches, back off a half inch, three inches. So it takes three, three pulls to get to the full. And C is intermittent. It's gonna go straight to three and then back off. I like to hold people between about two to two and a half inches when we initially start on this thing, and I may work up to about three inches. It's a gentle pull. It should not be a heavy pull on the neck. So that's all you have to understand. The arm bolsters are not used in this, okay? The only thing that we use is we strap the feet in when we tip it back. So I'll demonstrate that for you real quick. So I'm gonna set him on a protocol of C, and I've got him set at two and a half inches. And if this is his first time, we'll pretend I'm gonna put him on five minutes is what we want. So we're gonna put it on five minutes. We're gonna hit start. I leave these loose because it's gonna, he'll slide up slightly as we get in. We're gonna strap the feet, put the knees together, strap those feet nice and tight down there. And then as he comes up and he settles in, I'm gonna tighten these bolts down from there. So once he's about three quarters of the way down, he's pretty much good to go. I'm just gonna twist these a couple times and then lock them into place. And that's all we have to do to get this set up to go. And he's, he's ready to go on that. You comfortable? Okay. And this is gonna pull him out and hold 
and it'll let off a half inch. So here we go. And as you can see, it's just a very slight, gentle pull. Let me tell you, so, and I'll show you, I'll actually put a protocol list on our online resource service for correcting reversal of the cervical curve. And we've seen it in as little as 12 visits. We use this with a couple of um, halo posture uh, weights to, uh, with some exercise in the office to make that a total correction in like 12 to 14 visits. So, and I'll show some pre and post x-rays on that as well. So I just wanted to go over that. So if you're having this issue where patients find it just real uncomfortable, drop that pad down, don't hook the occiput, make sure it's down in the lower to mid part of the cervical region, that head should just fall back over the top of that thing. And if it's a severe, if they actually have reversal cervical curve, it's gonna be uncomfortable the first few times you put them on this. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at Ergoflex. My email is drrob at ergoflextechnologies.com. You can email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can, or if you call the offices here, they will make sure I get that phone call and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thank you very much, have a nice day.